News 4's Adam Harding live in Englewood with what families say they're dealing with. Adam. Yeah, Ash, this was a nasty storm yesterday that lasted for several hours. If you can believe it, where we're standing in Englewood was about waist deep underwater yesterday. That led to a lot of damage tonight. The cleanup is underway with more rain in the forecast. Rapidly rising floodwaters carving a path through Omar Shadri's Englewood home. His property overrun, his family's cars submerged. There, there's a creek and all the water f overflowed into our homes over here. So you had water yeah, how high? About three feet high. Like our, literally all our cars were submerged in water. So we're looking at like extensive car damage here. We had over six inches of rain, the most in all of Bergen County. They did not open the floodgates. The city's mayor says there were at least 16 water rescues Tuesday. Today, the focus is on assessing the damage, which includes his own property. Take a look at the inside of his home. Notice all the buckets collecting water. And people have to come to the recognition it is stuff and we have to be grateful. But at the same right, they shouldn't have to live from storm to storm. I have that anxiety every time it's going to rain. I go down to my basement. I'm looking. I have cameras set up. It's not a way to continue to live. Tonight, as the rain begins to wind down, parts of South Hackensack remain underwater. This is what it looks like outside of Richard Ojuela's restaurant today. And this is what it looked like Tuesday night. What was running through your mind when you saw all that water outside your store? I'm like, why don't they don't do anything about this street? Tonight, as families race to clean up after the storm, they're already thinking ahead to the next round of rain from Tropical Storm Debbie, which could strike in a few short days. We're battle tested and we're ready. Well, it's a good thing that they are ready because more rain could be here by Friday in and around the area. For the most part, the streets that were underwater are mostly cleared of water with the mayor in Englewood tonight saying first responders saved countless lives. We're live in Englewood. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York.